you guys are not going to run my life anymore. I'm done getting by a chat. My mom told me, she said, you're going to let the chat do what you want. You're going to let the chat tell you to jump off a cliff. She literally gave me a speech. So I'm not going to disobey my mom. That's one of the least things I'm going to do. So I give it 48 hours. I like to correct myself. It didn't take him hours. It took him a couple of days to go back to the same roots as he was being a kick IRL streamer. So for today's video, I got good news. A lot of you are going to be happy with this news. Neon is back. I'm not talking about back from jail from Dubai. He is back to being his old self. He lost all the motivation speech that he gave himself. It only lasted a couple of days and now he is bored and he needs to give some content and what happens when one donkey kick streamer decides to collab with another donkey kick streamer it becomes a donkey kick fest what did they decide to do neon decided to collab out of all the people in the world they decided to collab with the one of the most dangerous drivers in New York. Apparently he was wanted to before they even collab, but after this stream that they did together, after this beautiful stream, he is definitely, definitely wanted because they were in a hit and run and they streamed the whole thing. I think the hardest thing for a kick streamer is once you film something illegal and it's so entertaining, this is the hardest decision they will ever make. Either post it online and all the evidence you'll be fucking snitching on yourself or do not post it and no one will see what you did. No one will believe you and no one will see the video ever in the life. Now, as you can see, this idiot is, he thinks he's the king of New York. Little does he know Spider-Man is going to come anytime and whip his ass with whip. He drifts around the police waiting for them to do a reaction. And apparently he runs away and the police doesn't really give him the reaction that he wants. And I'm very surprised he's not even caught yet. And the way it looks like either these cars are rented or they're from their friends. He just texts them and starts drifting with it. Now, uh, if you are his friend and you, if you give this, your car to this guy, say goodbye to your car. You are not going to be seeing your car again. Either it's going to be wrecked or it is going to be wanted by the police. If I was you and I knew this guy, I would cut ties immediately. Even if for a rented car, they need to do background checks from now on. If they're on social media, they do this kind of shit or not. Because the Lambo, I'm assuming it was rented and they crashed the Lambo that we're on. Please, 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 please. Can we take a moment and not give Neon an Oscar for his shitty ass performance? My grandma, my dead grandma can act better than this guy is doing. He's exaggerating. He's fucking spicing this up. Please, please. As if he did not know what was going to happen the second he sat next to him. Come on, bro. Please, dude. Please, dude. Come, 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 come. Oh my god! Oh, oh my fuck! Oh, what the oh. fuck? Oh, shit. Even if you're the best fucking driver in the world, the best rider, motorcycle, MotoGP rider in the world, still shit can go wrong. And these people who film themselves driving like this recklessly on the highway, it really sounds like the six year old me. That was my dream job. I wanted to, if I was six years old and I picture myself doing that, I was like, oh my God, I am, I'll be so, I'll be looking so fucking cool. But these grown ass men filming themselves running away from the cops, doing these kind of entertainments, it's not really something new, but it's something really extremely stupid. Especially in a highway where there's full of civilians, people fucking uh, grabbing their kids from school, taking their kids to the park, having the grandkids, having the grandparents inside the car, and you are doing these things, putting their lives in danger. Now, if you're a fucking motorcycle, you could do whatever you want. Speed, do wheelies on the highway, do whatever you want. Because the second you crash, your head is going to be one place, your leg is going to be another place, your feet is going to be, a th a th you know, three kilometers on the other side of the highway. But a car makes this very dangerous, and it's just a matter of time before... Now, this video clip went viral. It's just a matter of time before both of them get arrested. Again, for the ones who never heard of this passenger princess bitching the whole time, this person is called Neon, and he loves breaking the law, posting cringe shit, getting arrested, collaborating with other degenerate streamers, and saying a lot of ums, ums. Basically, a whole package of uh, what defines a kick streamer. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh. 
He goes on and he says, Mr. Squeeze Benz, this is the streamer's name. He said, please let me off. I am done with this. I am so scared. This is illegal now. I had no idea that you were going to do this the second I got into a car with you. I thought you were a peaceful driver and I thought we were going to go around and we were going to sing karaoke together inside the car. I had no idea you were going to fucking drift your way around the highway because this is the first time I'm seeing you do this. Neon exactly knew what was going to happen the second he got in that car and the cameraman. Let's give a round of applause for not falling at the back going left and right. This is a true cameraman. Never stop recording. That is true fucking dedication. Now, unlike Neon, uh, Mr. Squiz Benz does not share every single moment of his uh, private life, you know, or whatever happens to the internet. So we don't really know what happened to the Lambo. What did they do with it? More updates will come out soon. I'm pretty sure since it went viral, cops are going to reach out. They're going to locate him from the cameras and all. And he's going to get arrested. And Neon can be in trouble as well but he was a passenger princess so i don't know like the passenger princesses i don't know what's gonna happen to him my guess is he's gonna be like oh i had nothing to do with this this guy just went on crazy by himself he he will probably get away with it now neon got banned from kick as well for reckless driving before you go and you clap your hands be like good job kick that was fucking beautiful deserved well done today is a day for celebration Calm your tits, okay? It's a kick ban. That means in one day, in 24 hours to 48 hours, he's going to be back with an apology video saying that... I want to wait. What was the thing? Last time I made an apology video, you guys taught me the first sentence that I got to say. Fuck, I can't read my glasses. I can't read why my glasses. I don't know why I took it off. I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. <clears throat> Wait, wait. I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect, expect, uh, what the fuck? <clears throat> I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I do not expect to be forgiven. I want to start off by saying that I'm sorry that I put other people's lives in danger, because that was not my intention. He told me that we're going to sit in the car and we're going to sing karaoke. I had no idea he was going to put my life in danger as well. I am never going to collab with him. We will probably collab with someone more da dangerous in the future. So stay up for, you know, thank you for your support for the bang up content. Get Then gets fucking like 10,000 dislikes and uh, 500 likes. So yeah, that was the latest from Mr. Neon. More to come in the future. There's going to be a lot of videos made about Neon getting banned, getting unbanned, doing stupid shit still doing stupid shit. Thank you for yourself. I'll see you at the next one.